I had something happen yesterday. It's something that I'm not proud of. It's something that I felt really bad when it happened. I had a crazy overwhelming day. Everything was coming at me from a million different directions. I was being pulled in a million different directions. Chris and my daughter was home from college and she's sorting out her summer plans and she was getting extremely stressed out. Meanwhile, I've got a million emails. And so that's how I felt yesterday. And all of a sudden I looked at my phone and I realized, oh my God, I was supposed to pick up our son almost an hour ago from school. My heart sank. I mean, who forgets their kid? I did. I, I just, it, I, I lost track of time. And so I immediately started texting our son. He wasn't responding. I called the school. He calls me. I said, dude, I'm really, really sorry. I was doing something with Sawyer and um, I'm running really late. Where are you? Well, I'm about 10 minutes away. No problem. I'll meet you in the front of the school. And he got into the car and I burst into tears. He's like, what's wrong? And I said, you know, I just feel like I failed you today. And I just feel like I am not the perfect mom that I should be. That's the words that fell out of my mouth. And he looked at me and he goes, mom, if you had been on time, you would be one of those perfect moms that are all over their kids, that are up in their business, that never do anything wrong. And I don't want a perfect mom. I want my mom. Oh my God, I'm getting really upset. And then of course I started crying more. And I was like, that is the most beautiful thing that you've ever said to me. Because it's true. The world doesn't need another perfect person. The world needs you. And you're trying your best. You're doing what you can. And you know, I think it's really important that you cut yourself a break and that you stop thinking that you have to be perfect. There are gonna be days where you're an hour late to pick up your kid. There are going to be days when you can't get to every email and that's okay. There are gonna be days where you feel so underwater and that's okay. You'll get through it, you'll figure it out. And you've got to understand that it's not about being perfect. It's about just being you. And that means that you gotta be willing to start before you're ready. You gotta be willing to do what I do every damn day, which is show up in my rollers or start a live stream and disconnect myself or start it and be talking and not even know that I'm broadcasting. You've got to do that version in your life or you're not gonna get ahead, period. One of the things that I've learned in my business is that the mistakes are where all the learning is. And actually the mistakes and the imperfect stuff, that's where the gold is, everybody. And so as you're sitting there and you're thinking about doing stuff and you're trying to make it perfect and you're trying to come up with the right script before you make that cold call or you're trying to make sure your body looks perfect before you put yourself out there on match, you are missing out on your life, period. And so I hope that if there's one thing that I consistently inspire you to do, it's to start before you're ready.